my passion flower. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's no longer. I harvested what I could and uh, dried it out, but honestly, I still have a lot of passion flower. But this is why I like to leave a lot of the overgrowth of the garden because they house my tiny little garden battlers. <laughs> and soon we're gonna have a lot of praying mantis babies that are gonna help fight, fight the bad bugs here in the garden. And yes, praying mantis do eat honeybees, um, but we are, that is a, a battle and a risk that I, I'm okay with taking. I don't use any pesticides or, or herbicides here in the garden. And so it is what it is in all honesty. I wanna get a little bit closer and check on these girls. Most of the time, they're fine with me, but of course the moment that I actually come out here and check on the bees and I don't have a bee veil on and I'm recording, uh, yeah, that's when, that's when they're gonna get me. Well, hey girls, what are you doing? I can't believe how much it feels like spring today and it feels really good seeing all the girls fly and do what they're supposed to be doing. However, I am holding my breath and I'm just praying that they that they have what they need to, uh, to see them through. I'm feeling pretty good though, in all honesty. Girl, do you mind getting down? Girls, I see you too up there, Missy. Come on, we put some food out. All right, go eat, crazy chicken. I have two chickens that no matter what, whether the coop is clean, they've got treats, fresh bedding, no, nah, they still wanna roost up in the trees. Miss Reba. It's like she has a love-hate relationship with me. She she wants to be with me and walk around, but whenever I go to, yep, <laughs> she's such a brat. I think she just likes me for the treats that I give her, and I've I've accepted that. The other day I went to Aldi's and I came across a pretty good sale that they had on bananas. I had organic bananas that were going for 60 cents a pound. Some of them had a little bit of spots on them, but for the most part, the majority of them were really, really good. I bought about 12 pounds of bananas and I spent a total of $7 and roughly 20 cents minus tax, plus tax, I didn't actually look at that. Regardless, that was a lot of organic bananas for a very inexpensive price. I brought them back to the apothecary and I started cutting them up and laying them out on our Harvest Right freeze drying trays. I ended up with a handful of bananas that actually didn't fit on the trays, but I did put them in the freezer to, to plan on making banana bread with that later. I've been able to preserve a lot of food this year, which has been one of my biggest missions. Now the freeze dryer that I have is a medium sized Harvest Right freeze dryer. I also have the Premier pump with it, which does take oil. I have to change its oil every so often. I gotta look back at the notes, but I think it's every 20, every 20 batches. Don't quote me on that. I will look that up and I'll put that below. This is what I'm impressed with. This is why I really genuinely am absolutely in love with, with this freeze dryer. So I grew these tomatoes over the summer. We preserved them. We made homemade tomato soup with them. And instead of it going to waste, we were able to take it, turn it into a powder, and I can reconstitute this with water or, or even milk even. But I love the fact that this is leftover leftovers and now it's leftovers again. I think that's why I'm, I'm very much 
in love with this idea of food preservation. I do plan on going down into the pantry and actually getting an idea on how many pounds of food that we've actually put up with this freeze dryer since we've had it. And I've had it for a little over a year now um, and I'm still completely impressed with it. We've been able to put up quite a bit of food between what we've got growing in the garden, doing a refrigerator clean out at least once a week and freeze drying whatever leftovers we have um, towards something like this. You know, I, I went to the grocery store. I did not grow these bananas. I would love to grow bananas, but I didn't grow bananas. Now I have four of these trays that are full, just like this, and the bananas are kind of crispy, kind of crunchy. It's, it's that consistency. I'm gonna tell you a little secret. My go-to snack is cereal. 100% my go-to snack is cereal. And I could eat cereal at night. That's my little bit of a sweet tooth. I'm not much of an ice cream person, but I love, I love the crunch of cereal. And this texture, I don't know if you, I'm just gonna give an example, Lucky Charms, okay? The texture of the marshmallow in Lucky Charms is almost exactly, if not exactly, to me even, the same texture of a freeze-dried banana. Now, if I were to reconstitute this into cereal, it would end up turning to mush, so that's not the idea. But this is my own personal way of choosing something a little healthier, a little bit better for me. Um, it has the same sweetness, same consistency crunch-wise, uh, but it tastes like a banana, not necessarily like a Lucky Charms marshmallow. I could probably sit down and eat this entire tray. Mm -hmm. And I might. <laughs> Between the four trays, we were able to freeze dry uh, 24 bananas, which I went online and I started doing like a price comparison to kind of see roughly if I were to have bought this, how much money would I have spent already freeze dried? And the only thing that I can really see was roughly um, two pounds is like almost $40. I'm not gonna name the company because I didn't do too much research about it. I think being able to freeze dry this many banana slices in one setting for, I'm just gonna say the total cost, even though I still have some bananas left over for $7 and some change, I think is a pretty good price saving If any of you are interested in purchasing a Harvest Right freeze dryer, I have an affiliate link down below. It does help support our YouTube channel and what we have going on here on our homestead, um, but it also will help kind of get you guys motivated in broadening your, your technique and ways of food preservation. And we don't do just food, we do a lot of our herbs as well as leftovers. And as you can see, not everything that we do, I grow. I think on one of my next batches that I would like to do, I think I would like to take some bananas and dip it in chocolate first and then freeze dry it. At least the top, like dip it in chocolate and then flip it over. Yeah, we're gonna, we're definitely gonna try that. I'm also trying to keep an eye out for when blueberries go on sale because when you, if you ever had a freeze dried blueberry to me, I think it tastes like Captain Crunch cereal, like the very berry, that's exactly what it tastes like. I'm just trying to choose better and healthier alternatives for my sweet tooth that I have. sit back and make a good cup of tea and enjoy feeding my sweet tooth that I have with this sweet treat. And as always, don't be afraid to get your hands dirty and learn something old. Bye guys.